Hello, my amours. Welcome back again to another pick a card. So today we are going to take a look at how you will become successful in this life and also your long term career path. Okay, which I feel a lot of us really need to know, especially we are in the middle of a whole crazy pandemic. So I also have a very important announcement about a new system for payment, especially for those of you who have been a returning client to book my personal reading or if you are new and if you would like to book a personal reading with me i am opening up my own website soon where i will be selling my art commissions my traditional paintings tarot reading bookings as well and so many more products and merchandises that will also come in in the nearest future okay and just know that i will not be accepting people anymore because just recently i'm having some issue with PayPal, which really caused a lot of freaking headache with me and i just don't really want to work with people anymore i don't feel like i can trust their uh, you know that company anymore and if you're wondering what happened you can just watch exactly the previous video that i posted if you're wondering how you can pay is of course by credit card payment okay which is safe because i will be hosting my website on squarespace i also have wix okay i have been on wix for like some time and i also will have a shopify account which all three of them have ssl uh, ssl certificate security system which is really safe and really good actually for both buyer and seller without any hassle because you know come to think of it if you pay with paypal it's actually you know uh, it's, a, it's a waste of time to be honest because if you pay with PayPal, you have to still make an account, you have to input your own data, your own personal address, information, stuff like that. So this will happen around like the, the middle of July, just know. And so yeah, that's what I just want to announce. And let's get into this reading, okay? Oh, and please don't forget to also follow my Instagram at Amorinet and also my other YouTube channel at Amorinet for more videos and stuff. So let's get into this pick a card. And as always, I will be using my own art as a tool for you to choose from pile number one to entry. It's from left to right. All right, so for those of you who pick pile number one with this artwork, okay, so pile number one, my amours, I feel that what you're going to be successful at this life is definitely by doing a lot of energy work, energy healing, such as Reiki, for example, or other type of holistic healing practices therapy acupuncture and sound healing for example or anything else that is in the spiritual community so you will definitely be doing something very spiritual something that is eye-opening very inspiring and healing for a lot of people and for some of you you might actually be doing witchcraft as well so anything that has to do with magic energy work that is going to be your team in your career business so you could actually be doing tarot readings as well or you can also become a life coach and you can open up your own online workshop or maybe a real workshop who knows sometime later when the pandemic is you know hopefully getting closer to the end hopefully but that is what i'm picking up so far okay now when it comes to the id or the type of energy that you will be working with i feel that you are both a light worker and a shadow worker as in what i mean is that you will teach or you will inspire people how to balance both their light and their dark side you you teach people to accept both sides so that you can truly balance and heal actually because you cannot just acknowledge one thing after the other you cannot always just want to be light you cannot always just want to be dark you have to validate those two aspects <clears throat> those two sides of you because <clears throat> that's what actually makes us human and have 
this life experience on earth. Yes, we are a wonderful soul being in a human body, but we are also a human body with a soul being. So it's about the opposites, you know, that we have to understand and balance. We have the card that says magnificent. You will definitely become a very successful and popular author or writer or public figure. I'm definitely seeing that. So a big, big, big part of your career will will be on the media or maybe you have your own TV, TV show. You could be on TV. You could be interviewed a lot. You can like join in podcasts or getting invited by other people to do podcasts, to do live workshop. You're going to be on YouTube, on social media, etc. Okay. So use your voice, you use your expression and share your own life story. I was just about to say this, look, courage. I feel that a lot of you have some self-confidence issue, okay? You may have some insecurities and you tell yourself that, how am I supposed to be this way and why should I? There are so many other amazing successful popular art artists out there already there are so many amazing authors out there already and there's just no way that i would ever compete with them honey this is not about competition this is about you sharing your own story you may be teaching of the same exact topic the same type of thing the same type of team the same type of song whatever but Every single artist, every single author have their own unique voice. They have their own style, they, they have their own story. I could be teaching about tarot readings and you could be teaching about tarot readings and other could also be teaching about tarot readings. But I don't have what you, your story have, you know, like my story is different from you. And you also don't have some of the life story or experiences that I had. And that is the same for everybody else. So this is about finding your own voice and the uniqueness of you by paying attention to all of this unique events, both the bad and the good that you yourself had in your own life, because that is actually the key of your success. That's what's actually going to further attract more loyal fans as well in your way okay so let's take a look with some more tarot decks so what you can do right now this is a message from your spirit guides and higher self they want you to practice more if you can practice daily if you can practice only 10 minutes that's fine 10 minutes daily that means something you know practice to increase your intuition go and meditate or use crystals or spell work rituals whatever it is that you feel called to you okay just practice every single day to heighten up your intuition your energy work your magic so that you can further open and activate your third eye and your pineal gland as well i feel that maybe for the past few days your pineal gland or maybe you are like around your third eye chakra it has been like buzzing like crazy or maybe you are experiencing weird types of headache that you never experienced before and i feel for some of you you may have been trouble uh, having trouble sleeping like really really tr uh, you know bad sleeping schedule it could also be you know the the worst sleeping schedule that you you ever had in your entire life maybe that happened just recently and if that is the case that means something is something new something is sparking within you there is like an awakening within you and this is a very huge message coming in from your spirit guides that is they are really asking you to have faith okay and to jump in and do this thing and it might be out of your comfort zone again i feel a lot of you are so insecure about this so getting out of your comfort zone means you just have to try this you have to give it a chance give yourself a chance and don't worry Worry about what other people say or what other people think it's fine to ask for advices but don't let anybody tell you like oh no this path is not for you like no you should not try this blah 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 you have to do this okay i feel like you know what it is already but you're just really questioning yourself look at that this is about taking the necessary step by step to really learn okay you you really have to balance yourself 
of okay I know I have to improve I know that there are a lot of things that I can do to improve but it doesn't mean that I'm bad at it it doesn't mean that it's not meant for me especially if you're just starting out okay look the Knight of Swords in the reverse. A lot of you are so afraid of expressing yourself. You may also have a blocked throat chakra. So whether you want to be a speaker, author, singer, artist, okay, it's all about expression generally. And I feel that you have a bit of that issue there because for some of you, it could be that maybe you think that you don't have the necessary equipments just yet or the the money or like the investment to do that but for example you want to start youtube okay and you do have a card already or maybe you don't have a tarot card honey go ahead pick up some notes uh, cut them into tiny little pieces and write your own messages you can make your own cards you can make your own messages and use your phone to record and upload on youtube you you really don't need to have all of the crazy amount of money in order to start something and let's say you want to be an artist or you want to be a singer use your phone use your pencil and paper okay just write it down sketch something write something it will mean a lot it may look like it's so simple it's so tiny that it's nothing but it is something and you will reap the reward like months and years down the line because this is a reading about your long-term career and i feel like this is actually like a lifetime career that you will be successful of you have you have to give this new passion an opportunity we have the page of wands I feel like you already know what you want to do or what you feel called to do but this is something completely new or completely out of your comfort zone that you are just not used to or that you have <laughs> insecurity about but this is a confirmation that that thing that you're insecure about that is exactly what you should actually do and let me tell you my love it's not easy at all okay aside from this reading I can also share with share this with you from my own personal experiences that now that I look back at it and I realize that every single success and lessons that I learned throughout my career and business journey it's it's exactly the things that I was not confident about like what I'm doing right now it's exactly the things that I was actually really insecure about and I was judging overly judging and overthinking about this myself really really heavily like for example putting myself in front of the camera let alone doing youtube i mean oh hell, hell no hell no there's no way i'm showing myself in front of the camera but look at me i have been doing this for almost two years on this channel and also on my other channel where <laughs> i always now show myself on the in front of the camera because I really like talking with you and have a more interactive video so the things you know that I do and also with my art as well I realized that quite strangely the type of art that I was insecure about or that you know I was not really sure if people would appreciate is exactly the type of art that people would email me they would DM me and comments that wow this piece of art really healed me because it reminded me of all of those depressive moments in my life that you know i learned to to pick myself back up again and and looking at your artwork it reminded me of how strong and how proud i can actually be for myself so oh my goodness this is so crazy we have the wheel of fortune and the hermit you are going in a whole new chapter, a whole new journey that is destined. And you will be very independent financially and career-wise. You attract people, you attract money, you attract opportunities. 
and this is exactly about energy work i don't feel like this is you having to break all of your sweat bones and tears and hustle and hustle until you die mm -hmm. no okay and look the hermit is about a inspiring spiritual figure okay that really helps or heal other people and the wheel of fortune is something major that is moving on forward but you have to take this chance you have to take this opportunity and this is something destined so how ironic is it that exactly the thing that you're insecure about the thing that you are like oh no that is way out of my comfort zone <laughs> apparently that is where your destiny lies which is that success that stability and career okay so there you go pal number one that is your reading and i hope this really helps you out please don't forget to like comment down below follow my instagram at amorinet for more updates and i will be seeing you again hello my amours for those of you who pick pile number two with this artwork okay so my amours i feel that a lot of you are definitely artists okay you are the creative content creator so your long-term career uh which i feel it's it, I, I would say it's a lifetime career actually with many different kinds of jobs and opportunities and things that, you know, projects, different projects that you can do. But overall, the theme of your lifetime career path is definitely in the creative industry, whether it be the music industry, in the art industry, in the entertainment industry, it can be anything. So you could be into theatrical music, you could be an art performer per performer as well, you could be doing YouTube, you could be a lifestyle art influencer or a fashion blogger as well. And I, I feel like you have a very, very strong charismatic mm, energy about you you're very very charming you are the charm you are the magic okay so this team creativity it's it's definitely this is your pile this is definitely your career path now let's take a look with some more cards to pick up some more details and description about what's happening here and what you can do right now to start this journey or if you are already in this journey, this is a wonderful confirmation that you are on the right path and you have to keep on going. No matter how many or what type of setbacks or disappointments or failures that you might experience, you have to accept that that is just a part of life. In every different aspect in our life, we will always experience happiness, sadness, and success and failure. It's just the way it is. But it doesn't mean that if you fail, that means, oh, there you go. That's it. This career or this opportunity is gone. Your path is blocked. You're, you're just like, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, it's, it's not like that. So I feel that for some of you, especially recently or maybe just yesterday maybe just now you're feeling really really desperate or disappointed about yourself or about other people or about something that you're doing in your current job or your career overall and you really don't know if you should still work on this or not if there would be any other good opportunities or not if you are truly lucky and blessed or not some of you might even be thinking that yeah i guess i'm just like such a bad you know uh, you know a person that keeps attracting bad luck but that is not the energy at all okay in fact you are heading to something that is way bigger so if you are experiencing a blockage a challenge a setback do not like i know it's so difficult but do not see it as a blockage see it as a redirection to something that is so much better and bigger for you you're very, very psychic, okay? I feel a bit of a similar energy to pile number one as well. You're very intuitive. You're very empathetic as well. So I feel that whatever content, whatever art that you do, what's going to really make you successful and have loyal fans and customer is whenever you, you show people that 
you're okay being vulnerable. I, I feel like that is the big lesson here. It's okay to, to show people that you can be vulnerable and any, anybody can be vulnerable. And there is power, there is strength in being vulnerable actually. We have editor. Okay, so you could be working as an editor or this could be a part-time job to to invest more money in this could be that you know you want to write more you you should be writing more and then we have journaling okay a confirmation maybe you can do scripting law of attraction okay but journaling is definitely about writing in your ideas go ahead brainstorm anything that you can write down we have Mother Mary. This is the divine feminine energy. The divine feminine energy is a lot about attracting, which means the way that you work with your own energy and the energy of the universe, the way that you can do law of attraction successfully is that you should actually use more of your divine feminine or your creative energy as in you, okay, so how do I explain this? So th this type of energy is more of a passive energy. It's like passive income, right? And a lot of people like the idea of passive income or investment, having a lot of money to be able to, to deposit, to, de to invest and deposit that and then like take a lot out of it. And so that is actually a very defined feminine energy. So what's going to work for you is that it's more of like changing your mindset and that is truly where energy works and this is the power of energy the power of law of attraction by the way which is you have to like really understand like what works for you and what doesn't and i feel for most of you what works for you is actually to to be in your divine feminine energy more so that you can just attract opportunities to you because i feel that you are not the type of person and your energy is not the type of like um personality where you have to keep hustling you know because i feel that yes of course there are many types of ways to do business like this this practice could work for others this practice could work for you but maybe not for other people okay so just take it with a grain of salt but for most of you who pick this pile i feel like you're the type of person with an energy personality where if you would hustle and hustle and hustle and grinding and grinding and work hard that is actually not going to bring you opportunities that is actually not going to bring you success because you are more in the defined feminine energy, which is again, the idea of passive income and investment itself, it's actually a reflection of the defined feminine energy because it's more of like, I'm just sitting here on my throne. I'm just like creating whatever I want with my passion, with my heart and love. And then I attract clients. I attract money. I attract business opportunities. So you have to know that you are able to be the magic, to be the charm yourself. So like, yes, there could be some situations in life where maybe you need to go find a side job, but you don't have to like, you don't have to grind and grind and hustle to the point that it tires the hell out of you to the point that you sacrifice your health you get what i mean like there must be this balance between the masculine and the feminine energy of course though i feel that for most of you 70 percent of you you actually have to use at least 70 percent of your energy more from the divine feminine energy I feel like that's just what works for you, for, for most of you. So let's take a look. Look, what? Look at this. What did I say? Success. So if you follow through this energy advice, this is what you're going to have. Look at that creative expression. What did I say? Creativity, art. You do not become a slave of art. 
because you are the creator of art you, you get what i mean that is like such a divine feminine energy look last but not least deserving you deserve the wealth the success that you want so now let's take a look at some more additional details and guidances from the after tarot deck okay so pile number two let's take a look pile number two I also feel that if you want to be an artist, a celebrity, or anything really, it would really help a lot for you to work as somebody else's manager or assistant first. So I feel that you may actually get that job opportunity before you become independent yourself because you are going to really learn a lot from this person or these people, okay? You will be surrounded by the right people and the supportive friends. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the uh, Seven of Wands, and then we have the Three of Cups, okay? So I feel that what you are feeling right now, because I feel this energy is more on the present moment for like your own emotions, you, you just don't have faith in yourself. I feel like you, you just don't believe that you can make it. Or that before you go far, you, you're giving this up already. Because you feel that the people around you are just not supportive. Okay, they're very negative. Maybe they're even like, you know, such a, you know, ne negative people that keeps judging you. Uh, they just don't support you whether it's friends or family i feel that you have this type of people around and that is why it's the major reason why you you, you just don't really believe in yourself oh my goodness sorry i forgot to light up my candle again yeah so what happened was that in the middle of the reading my camera battery died so i had to charge that and continue on the reading Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, both in the reverse. Yeah, I feel that for such a long time, you are not in tune with your own intuition, with your own truth because of other people. So this is more of a guidance of what you should do. You, you know what you should do and you should be more assertive, learn to be more assertive so that you can still have your own boundaries, okay? So that is your reading, my love. Thank you so much for watching. Just let me know down below in the likes, uh, you know, give it a like and also let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow my Instagram as well at Amorinet and I will definitely be back. Mwah. Hello, hello, my amours. For those of you who picked the very last one with this artwork. So this is a very, very special one especially for a career reading actually because i'm picking up a lot of partnership energy from this pile so oh okay so i feel that this could be a job that you will have for some time or that this could actually be a really long-term career okay it has something to do with love relationship or psychology like humanity the human mind the human emotion so you could be doing a research on that or you could be a psychologist or you want to be a psychologist or a therapist or a relationship coach or you want to be a what do you call it like advisor for married couples for example like i'm picking up that vibe because with this art itself it's a lot of um spiritual love relationship connection psychological type of vibe that i'm picking up from this art itself so that is going to be like a diploma or a degree that you're going to get you're going to graduate you're going to succeed but this could also be like a side job or a 
pretty long-term job that you're going to have probably for about like a few years, maybe like three to five years, that's what I'm picking up. But when it comes to the career itself, like the long-term career in this life for you, let's take a look with more details, okay? But I can definitely confirm to you that the overall energy, like the team of your purpose here in life and your career, they are very much connected. And it still has something to do with the human mind, with psychology with love or relationship advices and also society so this is the team right of your career but exactly what type of job that you will be doing like well there are many ways you could be a researcher you could be a psychologist a therapist a, a life coach like i mentioned before so when it comes to the job i don't really pick up any specific particular answer because it can come in in many different forms and in many different directions and many different opportunities as well depending or on where you are right now or what you want to learn because it's going to also depend on the education path that you may take okay but then again there are so many of you who's watching this so when it comes to the specific jobs, I'm still not really picking up exactly what, but the entire team of helping others basically, especially about emotion and mental, it's it's really huge for your pile. So let's take a look with some of the cards, okay? We're going to pick up some more details. Ah, uh, okay, that's very interesting. I feel that you may actually work together with other people because again, this pile has a lot of partnership vibe okay you could actually start a project or a charitable organization or a charitable like company or, or something okay i'm not really sure exactly what it's called but you could be working together with other people to offer free food for homeless people or you can also build houses for homeless mothers and children as well or you help veterans for example is that how you pronounce it veterans veterans veteran uh, i'm not really sure <laughs> the english term but yeah vet veterans and animals shelters as well i'm also picking up for some of you you could actually be opening up like an animal shelter because a lot of you you really have this deep emotional connection with everything with the world with the environment and so that is what i'm picking up so far but let's take a look specifically when it comes to your career business and finances in the long term in this life what could exactly it be about what is it about Oh, yeah, definitely confirmation. The Three of Swords in the reverse, which is about healing from heartbreak, healing from pain, healing from disappointment. So when it comes to pain, betrayal, and disappointment, it, it can come in many different ways. Whether you handle people who are going through a very bad breakup or a very bad divorce case or people that just lost their family or just... Be, become uh, they, they just became jobless or homeless for example basically it's emotional struggle like st uh, struggles in life like drama in life so wh whatever it is that you do like i said it can happen in many different ways but this is the main team of the, the team of your career. This is the type of energy that you will work in. And that's what's going to make you successful because you're helping so many thousands and thousands of people all over around the world. You could also be making like a online program or online consultation as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is more specific. That's what I'm picking up so far. 
wow you are definitely helping a lot of people that are struggling with their mental or emotional state so you could literally be a psychiatrist uh, or a psychologist or a holistic healer a therapist okay with this nine of cups in the reverse and also the temperance in the reverse it's a lot about emotion it's a lot about the heavy stuff in life you could also be saving a lot of people that are going through a very toxic abusive relationship whether it be with you know their love partner or their family as well people that are trying to run away from arranged marriage that is wow that is very specific but that's what i'm picking up Pile number three, I mean, this is a whole different type of energy from the previous ones. So no wonder why, I mean, even with the art itself, okay, because this is how energy works. I do pick up on the art specifically for the type of energy that I feel. And since you choose this art, it makes so much sense. This is the only art between all of three piles that represent a couple, which means partnership, okay? That is like the idea of it. And so whatever it is that you do in, in your career, you will definitely involve yourself with other people. There's always other people involved in your workspace. So there's going to be a lot of collaboration as well that you're going to do with others. And you would also need other people help for this. To like work together or to collaborate basically Ooh, there's a card that just fell onto the floor and look at that this is the ace of cups in the upright position literally about love especially in the upright position this is about a solid emotional fulfillment and also healing okay so whatever it is that people or you know the human life <clears throat> whatever Ooh, sorry oh that's a lot of energy whatever it is that we really want to achieve or what we really want to be fulfilled at in life i feel like you are the one that people go to so i know that for your pile it's a bit of a complicated message so it's, it's really interesting but it is quite strange with how the energy is like so huge to the point that there is no specific definite answer to this okay so let me shuffle some more cards from the archangel gabriel oracle deck to find out some more specific answer we have gratitude okay something about religion or spirituality or belief there's something that you're like inspiring or just talking something about that or people that may have troubles in this area and you help them to heal or something like i gotta say pile number three th this is quite difficult and complicated to read because there's so many different energies coming in a retreat so you could actually open up a meditation retreat or a healing retreat, a yoga retreat, something like that. But you get with the idea, right? Basically, it's always about healing, healing, and also helping people that are struggling like mentally, maybe even physically, of course, and emotionally as well. That is the basic idea. But a lot of these messages are kind of like, all over the place to be honest <laughs> but we do get the team at the very least so last card that i have for you is okay yeah i feel like this is clear enough okay open your heart to love this is what i have been trying to tell you um throughout this reading this is you know you this this angel is you you're, you're teaching or you're helping out people to open their heart to love and love can mean in different ways okay love doesn't always be about romance love is like love with yourself you could be teaching people about self-love empowerment stuff like that and also 
open your heart to the love of the universe, of like having faith. No wonder why I did mention about spirituality. It could be about faith. It could be about your own self belief, anything, really anything. But anyway, this is your pile. Okay, my eye mores. It has a lot of team of psychology, emotional, and spirituality. Basically, that's the team. So I gotta say, with the difficulty of pulling the specific answer from this pile, I gotta say that I feel that your higher self and your spirit guides, they have a lot of more to say, but they're just not really sharing for now, okay? They're not sharing just yet because there's still a lot of other things that I feel you have to focus right now and everything else will fall into place, okay? So I'm, I'm definitely going to make more videos with this type of team like career, finance, life purpose, etc. So just let me know, okay? Don't forget to please like and comment down below what you feel and think about this reading. Please don't forget to also follow my Instagram at Amorinet for more updates. And thank you so much for watching. I will definitely be back. Mwah.